Wait, do his stance again? Like, powerful? Yeah, I love that. Dit is Maxwell. Opkomend modefotograaf en geboren en opgegroeid in Utah. Hij werkt aan een fotoproject met tieners die mormoon en gay zijn. Een behoorlijk explosieve combinatie hier. Wat zijn we filmen hier? Hi, sir. Hi. Wie ben je met? We zijn een camera crew. Ben je met de stad of ben je met de kerk? Met de kerk, right. Veel gebouwen en pleinen zijn eigendom van de kerk. De security van de Mormonenkerk staat verder filmen niet toe. Dus gaan we met Maxel naar een andere plek. Zijn middelbare school. It's where we bought tickets before the football games. This is where, like, before you enter high school, this is where they, you always hang out. It was so fun to us. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. I ran into your brother on Friday. Yeah, he told me. How are you? I'm trying to see. <laughs> There you go. This is where all the magic happened. I would, I was cap, I was captain my senior year really? cheer squad. Yeah. So I would, I was standing right here. Wait, where's the student section? No, I'd be right here. Cheerleading. Cheering. Yeah. You know, um, I was the first male cheerleader in 30 years here. In 30 years. 32 years. Yeah. So actually, when I decided to cheer, my my second year of high school, um, they weren't actually going to allow it. Like the principal wasn't going to let me try out or be Because on the team. Because I was the only guy. And in the village. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Braves, you know? Yeah. Um, so I was the only guy. But um, so they had a deal. And they said, if Maxwell can find one more boy to be on the, the cheer squad, then we'll let him try out and be on the squad. And I did, they did, and there were two of us. I would be right here. Uh -huh. And then we'd all do the cheers and stuff, and we'd go over here. But how did that go? Because you had to yell at the same time? Yeah. So how did it go? They usually did the yelling. I did more of the tumbling, but we'd just be right here. <laughs> Super awesome. <laughs> I was killing it. Yeah. I would say that my coming out story, I wasn't necessarily bullied too much from my peers here. They just kind of ignored it. I was bullied by other high schools more. Um, and then in the end, I was kind of just, how? you know. Bullied how? Well, like I said earlier, I was harassed by other high schools, like text, it, like text emails, cyber bullied a lot. I remember one of the teachers saw me texting and she saw the text. It said like, go kill yourself. Like no one loves you. And go um, kill yourself. Yeah. Um, that's when they asked what was going on, what the problem was. And I would say like, oh, I'm like being harassed. They're calling me gay, faggot, things like that. And that's when they were saying like, they never, they, every time I said it, they would avoid it. They wouldn't bring up that this problem is because I'm gay. If it, it, was, invo it was involving their religion and Their, their values, and if it was going to hurt their values, they didn't want to really talk about it because they didn't understand it. Or they, all they know about it is that it's a sin, and they don't want to be around a sin. So no one so wanted to be there So how does that me. make you feel? Alone. I was very alone. I just want to say hi. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to get pulled away. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? I'm Hank. Hank? How are you? So you all know what Max was doing, the project he's working on? So I saw a little, I think I read one article, but remind me what it exactly is. I'm sort of focusing on the teen suicides here in Utah. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying to like raise awareness to lower yeah. it. So yeah, so just awesome. trying to lower all yeah. the suicide no, rates. No, I, it's crazy, we've had, Two kids recently, our age, who we graduated, commit suicide within weeks of each other. Oh my gosh, recently? So, mm -hmm. Oh my so, gosh, that's so sad. Yeah, so they both um, committed suicide within a couple weeks of each other. It really is like an yeah, epidemic. So, yeah, no, it is an epidemic. And, and do you have the feeling, because, you know, the, the, those rates are crazy, mm -hmm. that the community is doing something, or at least enough, 
You know, stop those. I uh, think that there could always be more. This trend. There always more. Yeah, I think there's always more you can do. Honestly, yeah. people are more aware now. Than yeah. Ever. So, um, where are you guys all living here still? Yep. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we're all married to guys the same age that we went to school. Yeah. Really? Oh, cool. <laughs> This is where my first girlfriend lived. What was her name? Her name was Kelsey Wolfgang. Well, you have to start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. You gotta out. start dating, right? Right. And then eventually I'm like, ew, no, gross. <laughs> really? You had that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Was it a bit fun, though, growing up here? I mean, personally, growing up here as a child, it's a, it's a playground. We have the mountains and everything, and we got to explore. Um, but yeah, so that, that pressure was definitely there, and uh, that's why I think a, a lot of Mormons will lie to you, because it's impossible to be that perfect, and um, it was definitely hard. And then with me being, you know, finding out I was gay, that's a double whammy right there. And it just added another pressure, because being gay is, it makes you not perfect. It's actually... A default. It's the worst thing next to murder in the Mormon church, pretty much, you know? Um, so who wants to hear that, <laughs> especially growing up? Thank you.